Okay, so we are going to be testing out an updated version of the Vanna Farless I've been playing around with. Um, I've been playing around a little bit with the lands here. Uh, you can see that now that uh, the fetches have changed quite a bit. I'm on four Misty Rainforests, and then two Flooded Strands, and then three Windswept's, because my I'm really focusing on the Bant colors now. Because um, other than the Zealous and the Kiki Jiki, we can cast everything else. I've also increased my basic land counts, uh, if you've seen that before in the other video. I'm on two forests, two islands, and a single plains. Uh, I have no um, groves anymore. Uh, everything's either the basic lands, the shocks, or the fetches. Um, my one drops are the same. I'm still doing the four birds and the four nobles. I've gone back to one wall and one scavenging ooze for this playthrough. Um, the image I'm still liking and I'm still enjoying the scrib. Um, and the three drops. Uh, still running three thanks in a rallier. I swapped out the Reflector Mage for the Deputy of Detention. I really like Reflector Mage. Um, the abuse of it you can do with Restoration Angel is really awesome. But sometimes bouncing it has punished me quite a bit. Or I just needed to hit something that was uh, not a creature. Um, and I wasn't able to with Reflector. So this I feel is uh, more of a catch-all. Um, the Ewit, the Deceiver, Eldritch are the same. I'm running the same for the four drops. Um, if you saw the version where I was running the Huntmaster, I've swapped that over to Glenelandra again. Uh, once again, just trying to trim a little bit of the red. And then I swapped, I was running the Sun Titan. I've dropped the Sun Titan, I've gone back to a Rebel Arc, and, but I'm still playing the Zealous. And Cord's the same. My sideboard's the same as well um, from the previous video. So just gonna jump into a loop here. Thanks for everybody that's joining me. I'm gonna be playing this for one or two leagues. Um, I don't mind swapping another deck. Reese apparently has a deck that he thinks is pretty sweet and he wants uh, for me to check out. So if he sends me that list, we might swap over to that for a bit. Okay, we're on no accelerants and not castable anything that I don't think we can keep this. This hand's um this hand's just too slow and we have to get like runner runner in order to get, keep it up so I'm gonna shift this away. This hand's much better. Um do I want a redundant Vanifar? I don't and it does not matter anyway. I go forest, drop a bird, and ship it over. I brought this list to um, the IQ that my team went to, and I ended up playing Tron last minute, um, much to their disappointment. But uh, I don't know. I think it was the um, the right choice to make that swap. But I got I got punished pretty hard in that tournament. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna grab a hollow fountain here. Looks like I'm going against black or John. And I'm just gonna run out the Sphinx. Yeah, I was doing a lot of um, cast. I went against Burn three out of my four matches. And oh no, it looks like we're going against uh, Living M. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was pretty punishing the whole day. So, all right, do we want to swing here? We can pod into Glenalandra. I mean, uh, evolution into Glenalandra, but we won't be able to hold up the counter for this turn. Which doesn't seem terrible. Let's get the swing in first. It's either that or go get an ooze, but it's the same situation where we can't we can't do anything with it for this turn. So I think we're 
just gonna grab the Glen here, and then we'll pass it over. for us if they go off this turn and it definitely feels like they are okay and that's not gonna do it so that's it for us on that one So I want to bring in the Eidolon here to stop their Cascade business. The oozes are great as well. I don't really think we need much else. Uh, there might be the bait for Thrag Tusk. And as far as we're, what we're going to cut, I'm going to cut one Kiki. And then I don't need too many things, so I'm going to cut that. And then they're not targeting up. Well, yeah, they're not targeting us a ton, and it's not that relevant, so I'm going to cut the shallot as well. And we'll bring in all these. And let's run it. Hmm, this hand's not doing much at all. Too slow. This hand's got double ooze, which would be fantastic if we had one more land. Ugh. Apparently we do have a scry, and this hand would be pretty nuts if we can just hit the land, so... Uh, I'm gonna keep it and keep the risk. Put that to the bottom. Very full tap and ship it over. Very well could just get really punished here. So... Number two. And that's most likely going to grab us a uh, sacred foundry. Triple straight wraith. And a Saradon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so bad for us. So we can like get rid of one creature <laughs> and like that's it. Oh my god. So I'm gonna grab a green source here because I wanna exile one of them. But um, so I'm gonna grab the uh, Temple Guard. And the Horror has got the most potential. Ceridon is also the other one that is pretty bad. Shriek Maw is gonna kill our Ooze. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one though because it's got the most power to it. Oh, this is so bad. We are so dead. <laughs> uh... Alright, let's see. We can tap down the Ceridon and we can block one of their creatures to get us a turn. That's really bad.
Oh yeah, sure. Hold me there. Why not? into a Thrag Tusk, gain 5, block the Ceridon, we'll be at 11, and still die. Um, oh no, <laughs> no we got this, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, okay, we're gonna Evolution, our Deceiver away, go get a Zealous Conscripts, take their 6-4, and then beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gorb, thanks for joining me. Alright, so we got game two here. Because <laughs> Zealous Conscripts is amazing. <laughs> good times, good times. I don't think we're going to change anything, so let's run it back. So this hand's pretty slow, no ooze, but definitely a reasonable group of creatures. Um, I think we're going to keep this. I'd love to hit um, an accelerant or a ooze here. Nope. Right. We're most likely just dropping the Finx next turn to have an extra blocker, gain some life, and then try to go for. Uh, Yo, Epa, thanks for joining me. Right. Okay, they're gonna blow up our lands. Who needs lands anyway, you know? We certainly don't. Just gonna pass it on back, opponent. Okay, that's a pretty fearsome board they're gonna have, and they're definitely gonna fulminator us. So they're gonna we're gonna be down to two lands again. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we got the ooze. That's all we really need in life, right? Ooze. You know, a couple turns too late. That's okay. We knew what we were keeping. Are we just, we're not dead, I don't think, but they can definitely double cycle and kill our ooze, which would be pretty tragic. No, they're just going to shriek and maw it and kill it. Okay, so. Dropping. Still dead. <laughs> we'll block the one of the creatures, but they're they're flying over for five and then hitting with two other creatures for another six, so Alright, alright. Oh and one lost to living end. See what uh see what else we got going on here. So how's everybody doing tonight? 
You guys seen this uh, weather report for this other winter business coming through this week? I didn't believe it. Ooh, this hand, so close to being awesome. All right, no lands. All right, one land. <laughs> Let me make sure we keep this. We're gonna keep it, but. I don't know why. Why do the magic gods not like me right now? We're just gonna be land going for a bit. And I really hope we get our lands. <laughs> oh. I will definitely fetch it right now. doesn't ghost quarter us next turn we can pay for that arbiter and crack this fetch and be in a much better spot get closer to that four mana we need okay never mind they got two arbiters okay, okay and that's a ghost quarter oh man life's so rough okay okay we don't need mana it's fine guys we, we do not need mana i don't i don't need any mana i have a burden play all I need in life. Yeah, sure, you can have a pot. Why not? Land. It's not a fetch. Man, so close. <laughs> Yeah, I would not want to be outside and working in this stuff either, man. I do not envy you in the slightest. Looks like they got a temple. They're going to smash us. And a Thalia. Yeah. Alright, we're dead here. That was a good life. That was a good life, guys. <laughs> um, I want to bring in the Abrades here. Come on. Alright. Or not. Go. Alright, so I want to bring in the Abrades, and I want to bring in the Magus. They can, um, we can punish them pretty, pretty badly with those. Um, I'm going to bring in one Knight of Autumn. I'm expecting them to bring in some Artifact Hate for us. Uh, I'm bringing in the Trackers, because I have a good feeling that they're going to be stopping us from really going off. Um, so I want to be able to still do whatever we need to. Um, not focusing on our searching too much. So I'm actually cutting... I don't know if this is right because I haven't played this matchup yet, but I'm going to try cutting the Cords and the Eldritch and just focusing on having these uh, creatures in quality removal. Um, and I think we're going to try it like that. I do also want to bring in a Thrag Tusk because um, it's just a quality creature against them. And we'll cut one Kiki Jiki. Let's try it like that. Yeah, opponent definitely didn't like our lands, man. They didn't want us to do anything. This is solid. We gotta make sure we just run out the fetches right away and um, I crack them, so. We'll probably start off with this windswept and grab a stomping ground so we can have access to red and uh, green and blue right away, and the next turn crack another fetch. And probably play out the Finks. I like Thrag Daddy in this matchup too, if we're going to be just grinding real hard, and I think that's not where we're going to have to be. Okay, they want us to get a land. We'll grab a horse. Arbiter. Revlark is not bad. I 
Paper just gonna pass here and most likely upgrade on their turn and then come back to our turn and pop, most likely play out that Revel Arc. I don't wanna just cast Revel Arc right now because I don't wanna get like pretty punished if they go Ghost Court and disrupt my house. And if they have something like that, I don't really care about. So we're just gonna breed that arbiter. Earlier's not bad. Doesn't do much right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna cast out this Rebel Arc and uh, start beating him up with it. And don't worry, folks, we don't have to call the stream early or anything tonight. I finished my class. <laughs> so I get uh, I get this next week off, and then I'll be starting up my next batch of class, my next class uh, following that. So. Thought not. Confident. I'm not going to crack this Windswept yet, because if I don't get anything, I want to be able to get more value out of it with this Rallier. Yeah, so I'm just going to crack it here. Grab a red source. Let's go Sacred Foundry. We'll put that in play tapped. And then that way we can run out the Rallier, get another body on board, and bring back our land. And I wouldn't mind grabbing a planes with us in case we do hit our magus. So, but right now I'm just going to swing in the air for four and pass back to our opponent. Uh, I Depending on the time of it and everything, uh, we're probably going to at least do two. Alright, they got a path for us. We'll use path, get the planes. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to bring back and we'll just pass it over. We've got all the lands in the world. We would like to start hitting some threats. Alright, they can swim with Thalia. I'm not blocking. Spawn of Mayhem. Beginning of your upkeep, okay, spawn do mayhem deals one damage to each player. Then, if you have 10 or less life, put one counter on spawn. That's dope. Nice little creature there for them. Let's so get ourselves another red source just in case we draw our Kiki. Alright, we've got a Resto. Resto's not that great right now, but still another body. I'm just gonna pass over and try to just get Resto in front of uh, one of their creatures. All right, they took three off Lingering Souls. We're, they're going to 13 or 11. Most likely gonna have to take the four from the spawn here. Resto, like Rallier, bring back another land. Swing them just four, yeah, we're gonna take that. Okay, I'm gonna thin her back a little more. Alright, Finks isn't bad, give us some life gain.
seven, they're going down to at least nine. All right, they just got a path, not good for us. They got a path and a lingering souls. Hmm. Let's see, we're going to at least two here. Oh man, if we can stay alive, we've got a couple outs, so. If they try to swing on the ground, oh, they're laughing at me, oh my gosh. Oh man, we're dead. <laughs> uh, we can block that and that and take five and die, so. got trample right yeah it's got trample so tragic oh man we're starting off this league not very well guys <laughs> <laughs> oh stuff like this is why I, I don't know i had a hard time committing to this deck like it's so back and forth like i took it to a tournament on uh Friday went undefeated and that felt good but then I played it in the modern challenge yesterday went two and four and that was a bummer ran into the league went three and two I was like ugh. Oh. I'm predicting another three two league here so obviously we're gonna go undefeated no issue you know Sometimes I question myself how this deck does well at all. I just really, like, I think I have that syndrome where, like, this, this hand seems fine. I got Accelerant into uh, uh, Removal and then uh, Concord, so this hand's pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm hoping that I'm not just really influenced by the fact that I really want this card to be good and that it's not actually good at all and it's just screwing me over because of it. Um, I'm going to grab a Temple Garden here, because uh, with the Steam Vents, we'll have access to all of our colors. We're going to run out the Noble this turn, possibly um, Deputy of the Tension next turn, or the Bird. Um, yeah, it has a lot of cards where you're like, if you find the right card against the right matchups, you know, you can just, sometimes that's just good enough to win, which is cool. All right, they got a Steel Overseer, so I don't want to deal with that. So we're gonna we're gonna shock ourselves a little bit, and I'm gonna take it from them and pass it over. They got another one, man. That's so rude of our opponent. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. We can go. Bird Noble swing for th swing for two. Um, next turn, crack the flooded, and we'll be able to cord for four, which will let us get the rest. Uh, blink our deputy and eat both of the steel overseers, and then that and then the following turn we'll be able to cord for five and win. So that's our game plan right now. Too afraid of Arcbound, fortunately. Um, I'm expecting them to. Let's see. Um, we have all the mana in the world, fortunately. Uh, we do need to grab a red source in case we draw the Kiki Jiki. So, I guess we'll grab the Sacred Foundry. Scrib Ranger. Scrib Ranger can accelerate us. That's pretty good. I think we're going to Scrib, untap, replay the land, and then Cord, and then go for the win next turn. So.
tap, bounce that. Replay it, we'll shock ourselves. And we'll pass it over. That's fine. Another Ravager, okay. So they shouldn't be able to do anything to us for this, which is great. So we're gonna cord here. Go green, green, doesn't matter. All right, so cord for four. We're gonna grab our Restoration Angel. Restless gonna blink Deputy. Who would like to use that ability? I would like to force you to sacrifice your staff mm, or take the Steel Overseers. It doesn't really matter. We're going to take the Steel Overseers. We're just going to kill them in our turn, so it really doesn't matter. Why doesn't the resto plan work? We're just killing them, so it doesn't really matter. Here, Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki will uh, copy this restoration angel. And our opponent's dead. Yay! Alright, we're gonna bring in Kataki, Knight of Autumn, Quasalis. Well, I want the Abrades. I want the Ancient Grudges as well. We're gonna bring all of that in. It's just all good stuff. It's all good stuff. Alright, I'm fine with cutting the Glenalandra here. The Shalai. I don't need two Kikis here. I'm fine with going down on it. Uh, I don't need the Ooze here. I'm fine with trimming Thinks here because if we can get to our other spells, it's irrelevant. And I'm going to cut one cord. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah. They would have been able to eat in response for sure. That, that was an issue, but... Oh man, this hand has everything we want and nothing, no, and doesn't have the correct lands to play them. Oh. Alright, unfortunately, I think we gotta ship this. Alright, this hand's much more reasonable. We'll keep this. Uh, Deceiver on top. Uh, we don't really need a Deceiver right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Yes, that is the issue of four color. Okay, we're gonna run out this bird, pass it back to them. So on our turn, we can definitely just Eldritch Evolution into a Makataki, um, which should be pretty good. Let's just hope it's, uh, it's good enough. Increasingly getting that vault skirt stronger, so we still have to find something else to deal with it. Don't you shoot my Kataki, don't you dare. Okay, we're gonna run out this wall. Counter 
the wall, run out the snowball, play the Smisty, and pass it over. spell pretty quick here. So we can run out a bird and play a zealous, which will buy us an extra turn, which is good. by itself to get four life instead of uh, hitting them for six. Okay. So we gotta draw one of the multitude of artifact spells we just put into this deck um, after this turn. We can. I'm probably just gonna take the, the big hit here because next turn the, the Volt Scourge will be even larger. Um, we'd rather absorb that hit. And we possibly need the extra mana here for, well, if we had, if it was a red source it wouldn't matter, I guess, because if we had Kiki we couldn't cast it because we only had two red sources. Thank you for everybody that's joining us. We are playtesting Vanifar Pod, trying to get it running for in a good spot for um, regionals. Not blocking. Got our turn. Oh man, we got an artifact. I mean, we got Stomping Ground. Okay, so we can play this tapped, and we're gonna. I guess we're just gonna swing at them. And with just the zealous, uh, we're gonna have to block with the bird this turn, which unfortunately puts us in the same position where we can't cast a Kiki. Uh. If our opponent sequences us right, though, I think we're dead because they can just activate the blink moth and we'd have to block the large vault scourge and then the smaller the this vault scourge and then this blank moth would get through dealing us seven so let's see what happens here though
Okay, Arc Bomb will do it too. Okay, Noble into a braid with Finks and Deceiver. I'm willing to keep that. ourselves and we're going to destroy that master okay uh, we're just going to pass it here um, if we can catch our opponent with a restoration angel block i would be pretty happy with that so Hmm. I want to shock ourselves here to get another red source um, with steam vents, um, just in case. But that's it's getting real painful here. But that's what we're gonna do. Is that enough to win? Right now, we could Deceiver. Oh, no, we can't. we have to have a 3-drop, which we should be fine to fade another turn. So we can run out Scrib Ranger with Noble and Forest, untap the Noble, get the Forest back, play it. Um, next turn, use the Deceiver Exarch to tap down whatever creature they're going to swing with, and then we'll Eldritch, Eldritch Evolution for the win. Pass it over here. Master, okay. We got no cards in hand. So most likely just passing, yeah. Okay. And no cards in hand, they can't do anything to us. This is great. We win. Deceiver. And we will tap down your master because I feel like it. Our turn. Evolution away this... Uh, Deceiver Exarch, go get our Kiki Jiki. I would 
would like to combo off of opponent. Yeah. Good one, good one. We got there. Uh, if they packed us, I'd been blown away because there was no cards in hand. How could they pack us? If they actually did pack us or something, though, like, I would just cry. Tears would be flowing down my face. And I think they would have lost, though, on their upkeep. Because they only had four mana, right? Okay, okay. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, double bird, one land. We're on the draw. Has high payoff with this Finx for aggro decks and this evolution into a resto. If we hit one more land, we're in a pretty solid spot. I'm feeling risky. Let's do it. Uh, we lost to Living End. Uh, and we also... Blinking on the other deck right now. It will come to me in a second. Oh, yes, the bear. Uh, the uh, black white Eldrazi. Alright, we're going against Burn. We're gonna have to. We're just gonna grab a forest here, I think, to try to conserve as much life as possible. We're gonna run out our white bordered bird because it might die. Searing Blaze. Just play a creature. Hey, oh my gosh, why do they have a Searing Blaze? Alright, running out another bird, passing it over. Really need this bird to stay alive, and we really need to hit a land. Yes! We're so good. Alright, I'm grabbing the planes here. We're running out the fence. Another Eidolon, all right. I'm taking tons of damage. Land. Okay, another Finx. Is another Finx worth it? Oh, we could get Kiki. We could go get the other Kiki Jiki from our deck. Oh no, we can go get um, we can go get Shalai. That should be pretty devastating for them. We'd be taking four. Alternatively, we go get the other Kiki Jiki and just keep copying Kitchen Finks. Hmm. All right, so we would take four, go to A8, gain two, go back up to 10. It doesn't seem bad. I'm definitely doing this, but I just don't know what we exactly want to grab here. Resto is like a solid play, putting us up a higher life, but I feel like the choice is between Shalai or Kikijiki. Um, if we get Kiki Jiki, the other upside is that we can just win the game on our turn, um, which is good because the less time we give them, and they should be directing all their burn at uh, Kiki Jiki. Um, they, they, realistically, Kiki Jiki is going to die, though, is the problem. If we go get Shalai, they're going to have to burn two spells on Shalai before they can come after us, which uh, is going to put them down to a really low life total. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time getting through this. They're swinging. 
So I'm going to take the hit here. Because if we block with our Finks and our Shalai, they can just send a single bolt at Shalai and it dies. Right now, they cannot direct any damage at us. And hopefully, on our turn, we're going to be able to play out the Restoration Angel to blink the Kitchen Finks. Land here is great, because we can play out the Resto now. We can put them down to 9, and then hold up Restoration Angel. Maybe just hit them for 2 with Finks, and then hold up Shalai. We're not realistically going to block with Shalai, though. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to swing with both here. Well, I'm glad to get the advice from the local burn player. I'm not much of a burn player myself. Alright. And we'll just attempt to pass here. See what our opponent does. Resto. Try to blink the Finks. Alright, if we go block, block here, I think that's absolutely fine. Because Sphinx is going to die, we'll gain more life. And then they still have to deal with Shalai before they can do anything. So we'll be at 10. And then on our turn, we'll go to 12 with Sphinx. Oh, they're going to give the creatures double strike? Okay. That's fine with us. So, like, our creatures die, and then their creatures die, but we still have five power on the board, and then we just swing for five on our turn. Sweet. Alright, I want Knight of Autumns, Thrag Tusk, at the minimum here. There is debate for Eidolon, I guess, because of the spectacle mechanic um, as well. So, And then oozes, because they could gain enough life to get above. But the, the, four, the, th the three main cards I want to bring in are Thrag, Tuss, and Knights. Um, I'm going to cut a Kiki. Not really that relevant here. Um, I'm also going to cut a Prime Speaker, and then we're going to cut... I kind of like having Deputy here just in case they get a nutty starter hand. And I want to keep the Eldritches because we can get into our Thragtos and Knights easier that way. Um, cord though might be hard to use, so let's cut that. Only Skewer. Okay. If it's only Skewer, I think let's run it like this. Solid. We can go bird into knight or deputy or deceiver. Guiding us. Let's grab this, get ourselves a forest, run off this bird, pass it over to him. Kitchen things coming 
up. I do not want to. Don't kill my bird. What? God, why do you have to kill my bird? All right, we're gonna play Sacred Foundry Tapped and pass it. Why do they always gotta kill my bird? So as the uh, local burn player, which uh, version of the burn deck are you on right now? Do you like the Boros version or do you like the um, Rakdos version? I feel like Deputy Detention is high risk here because if we run that out, eat both their Goblin Guides, they can easily just burn it away and then they can, they're back in the same position um, with the creatures. Um, Kitchen Finks or Night of Autumn, I feel is our best bet. I think it's going to be Kitchen Finks. We gain it, it's a, a zero uh, law, um, gain, but we get to block the creature and then gain the two life, which I think is relevant because they might just shoot it down. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, Boros seems like the version that's been um, doing very well in the tournaments as well. So Another Goblin guy. They're going to spike us, which means we're dead. Yeah, the sideboard makes a lot of sense too. All right, not too much going on with this hand, but I think it's reasonable to keep. Um, we're power. We're going to be powering out our cards really well, and then we're going to have a big wall. So. Half a turn faster, it doesn't seem as worth it though. Temple Garden. We are gonna go Wall of Roots into a Noble into a Flood Strand. I'll pass it over. I would love to draw one of our life green creatures right now so we can play it out and then copy it with image. Steam vents here. That way, between that and the Temple Garden, we'll have access to all of our colors. Okay, Ewit. Um, not terrible. Um, so we're just gonna play that and we're gonna run out our Revelark. it back. They're on a one lander, so oh, they got Panthers. Okay. We got everything we need, really. So I'm gonna grab. I'll grab a blue here. And we have 
nothing to get. Searing blaze the wall roots here and then get in for max value damage between killing our wall and pumping up that swift spear. Yep. It's okay. So it's gonna die. We're gonna go down to 12 here. do here is just run out our e-wet we're gonna grab back the wall and just use it as a blocker here and we got the wall and we're gonna swing at them for two To see a Thrag Tusk here, we'd love to see a Finx, a Knight of Autumn, an Eldritch Evolution. A lot of good stuff I'd like to see. <laughs> swinging let's see what we got on top we got a scrib ranger on top do i want a scrib ranger not really um so we're gonna be fetching here um i'm fine with trading away to get rid of the swiss spear source here so we'll grab some zealous zealous isn't bad we could zealous out take their lava mancer and shoot it which meant we have one two three four five six seven eight okay what we could do is zealous their lava mancer Take it, copy their Lava Mancer as well, and then use their Lava Mancer to kill itself, and then we have one that they would have to dedicate a spell to take it out. Spike in us, okay. There we got a bird on top. Block that.
Okay. Bird is not what we want to have. That's okay. We'll play out the bird. And swing at them for five. And hope they don't have double burn spell in their hand. Us. Let's put a damper on things. Land is not what we wanted. Hmm. <sighs> swing with Zealous, horse him to block. Or we can swing with Bird, hit over two guaranteed. So close! I think we would have had that if we would have drawn just another. A lot of different things would have got us that game right there, but we're gonna hold up the force and we're not gonna play it. Let's swing with the conscripts on the ground here. Force them to block. it back to our opponent and we're probably dead game see if we can squeeze out another win you know it's unfortunate because like this version we picked it because the finks and the rest of those was supposed to help us against these matchups and it just doesn't matter if we don't have them <laughs> This hand's pretty solid. We're gonna go Mana Dork into a variety of spells. So, as long as our Mana Dork lives, we're good to go. I think that's the case for us every time, isn't it? <laughs> I would be tempted to Elvir Lucian on turn two, sack away the Noble for a Rallier, just so we can um, get another creature on board and get our Misty back. We're just gonna grab a Forest here. I pass it over. Let me know if that's better. We need a League of Tron. I can run Tron after this. Alright, looks as though we're going against a Burning Inquiry deck. 
Let's see, can we keep up with this at our current rate? We can go, like I said, we can go evolution here. And I think evolution is the correct call just so we can accelerate ourselves a little bit more. Next turn, run out Vanifar and then try to have the win the game then, so. Back our Misty. And we're gonna pass it over. And I can most likely bring it back Phoenix this turn and hitting us for six. Are oh, they going to push it? We're okay with that, I think. It's not great, because we kind of needed the creature, but... Let's go grab a... We have a Hallowed Fountain already, so I'm going to grab a Stomping down here. The wind swept. Let's sack it. We can go get a. We don't need the planes right now. We have the ability to get it. So I'm just gonna grab another force. I'm gonna run out the Vanifar. Pass it over. Yeah, looting's looting's been doing a ton of work for the format. Like, I swear all the top tier decks are playing looting. Gormog, okay. Any inquiry? Alright, we got to keep our bird in a cord. They're gonna six us. We can e wit and we can bird. Um, we can go bird into scrib. <sighs> Untap, play out the play out the e wit. Yeah, I think we got it here. So we're good. Um, so we're gonna bird here. We're going to sack the bird and get our Scrib Ranger. Scrib Ranger is going to untap the Prime Speaker and return force. Play the force. And then we're going to sack Scrib Ranger. And we're going to grab Deceiver, untap the Prime Speaker, cast the uh, the e wit and then sack that, go get Resto, and win from there. We'll return a bird, just in case. Sack that, get a Resto. Resto blinks. Seated. Cool, cool. Alright, so we want the oozes in this matchup. 
and I like the Thrag Tusk here, just with the extra blocker, it's pretty solid. I like the Abrades here as well, it can take out the uh, the Golem or take out the Flyer or the one the, the Menace creature, so I think those are the creatures we're going to want to bring in. I find myself cutting one Kiki a lot, just because after they see the combo, it's so much more fragile. Because they're just going to be bringing in more hate for it. I'm also going to cut a Glenelandra. Hmm... Sphinx is fine here. It's not great. It's a good, good blocker for those creatures, but it's not going to be the super relevant, so I, would, I don't mind cutting one. I don't really want to cut Shalai or Resto. They're just going to be able to block everything up in the air. Zealous, Revelark, and Kiki, those are solid. I don't really ever like cutting the combo pieces. The Deputy Detention seems really good, so I think we're just going to have to cut two cords. Okay, this hand's um, got a lot of accelerants into some pretty strong creatures, so we're going to keep it. It's not exactly the creatures we want to see here, but I think this is fine. Um, this Misty's going to have to go get a Temple Garden, though, just to make sure we can cast it if they kill our bird or our noble. gonna go this into the temple garden like we said and we're gonna run out our uh, renewable Wind is crazy. Alright, they've got a flame wake in the grave. They got a hollow one in play. I gotta say, Burning Inquiry is like one of the cards I hate the most. And we're just gonna pass it over here. Yeah, I just do not like the way that that card, um, the way it functions. Like, it just punishes the other player. Like, because obviously one person's building their deck around it, the other person's not, so. Good chunk of damage here. Can't block. Oh. If we run out Vanifar, we can't block the Flame Blade. We'd have to block the Hollow One, resulting in a death for us. We can play Shalai, block the bird in the air, and hopefully that's enough. And then next turn we can run out a like a rebel arc just to get more presence on the board. Oh, 
it doesn't matter. Yeah, we, we have to block the hollow one. Because that uh, flame blade's going to get plus two here. Or not, it's going to go plus five. I mean, up to five, which means we're dead. GG's opponent. GG's. Okay, okay, that was fun, that was fun. Let's, uh, let's try it one more time, one more time. All right, we've got some solid accelerant into really good creatures. Hopefully this is good enough. Swept. We're gonna get a breeding pool off of this. Run out of bird and pass it over. Okay, they're gonna bolt our bird. How rude! All right, we're gonna run out our wall. They're most likely taking Vanifar. Which means, well, oh, they're going to take the Ewit. That's fine. I thought they would take the Vanifar, forcing us to Ewit it back and waste a turn, but they have other plans. Oh, they just got two Thought Seasons. That's cool, though. <laughs> we don't want those spells anyway, you know? We've got the Sphinx. And that's all we really need. Yeah, I thought about bringing a knight um, after that last match, but because they can take out the Hollow One and still be a blocker, I'd have to like. I think I'd have to take Sphinx out over it though. solid life total we do need a payoff spell oh my gosh they got a bolt okay Deputy is pretty solid here. We can Deputy take their hollow one and start racing them. Okay, that's a bummer. They got Fatal Push. block here. I'm just going to take the hit. Ooh, that's a bird. I'm just going to pass it over. They kill our bird or they shoot us. 
probably want to hit the fence. That's fine. Thinks is gone. Good job, opponent. We're just going to take the hit here again. Alright, and we got another bird. Passing it over. Bolt us. We're gonna have to block. This is not looking good, folks. Not looking good. All right. I think we could double block here. I don't think it really matters, but. Sweet. I don't know what we can draw here. Come back. Does a cord for three bring us back from destruction? We're going to go to three, then go to one. They're going to be swinging with three creatures. We can get a Finx. Again, block the hollow one. Um, deputy's already in the grave. Rallier can bring back another blocker. Well, either way, we're passing. Do we want to block first and then cord? Hmm. We can block the hollow one with our wall and give it up. I'm grabbing a Finx will bring us the seven. It's theoretically keeping us alive. Um, or we can just go we'll get the Finks. We can block. They can only shoot it down once. Doesn't seem great. If we cord for two, we could get like a phantasmal image copying their hollow one, but then they just shoot it down with their lava mancer. Uh, we could either get an ooze, eat one of their stuff, but once again, they just kill it with lava mancer. So I think our really our only choice is to get. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna block here. Deciding if they want to shoot us right now. No, okay. So we're going to add the mana and then cord.
post combat looting. Another hollow one. I gotta say, folks, I think we're dead here. And we are. Alright, that's it. Uh, not great. Not great. Stop that recording.